Welcome back to another delivery review. Before you leave, look what's coming up. The KFC Buffalo Sauce Range. Can you really afford to miss this video? Did someone say Buffalo? <laughs> Obviously not the original place where it came from, but still a Buffalo nonetheless. So this week, as I say, Buffalo Sauce Range. And first of all, Buffalo, New York, um, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, was the original place for buffalo sauce where hot sauce combined with melted butter, I think, um, mixed together has created a smoother sauce, uh, i.e. buffalo sauce, which in all honesty, I didn't actually know. Um, I thought the buffalo sauce was a slightly different sauce, not actually hot sauce, but I guess it kind of is very similar to Frank's Red Hot, but Frank's just been a little bit sharp, a little bit more kind of vinegar based, and obviously with the butter um, of the hot sauce kind of almost mellows it out a little bit. But either way, buffalo sauce, and this is KFC's range, which as I said in the description, a few places are doing more new items. So, you know, which is good. Um, but as you'll see, I mean, you can even see there from the, the bites already. It's not looking too good. Um, so anyway, on to the fries. And they were not bad this week. Um, it was a pretty rapid delivery as well, to be fair, for Just Eat. So um, praise to Just Eat this week. But the fries just were... I don't know how they have such inconsistent fries, but you can see there, bites to the left, tower burger in the middle, fries to the right. I'm not going to comment on the corn, because that's just standard corn. And also, although I showed the chicken wings, they're just KFC hot wings, but I just can't resist them. So it is what it is. But the fries, I would say, yeah, I mean, you can see they're kind of like a squashy fry almost, which kind of were nice, but they could just do with being a little bit crunchy, let's say. Not quite as crunchy as those, because they are close to Popeye's exploding uh, batter, but they were, they were quite nice. This week, I didn't find any broken bones, which is a good thing, so maybe they've uh, bought some better chickens. I, I have no idea, but uh, they were slightly better. So onto this buffalo sauce range. The buffalo bites, first of all, yeah, they were just about a bite. I mean, again, I don't need this. You can see there's barely any sauce in there and their title is um, smothered in buffalo sauce, which you kind of would expect, kind of like, let's say, I don't know, an eighth in the bottom is sauce. So I don't know why they're trying to skimp on sauce, but maybe again, the people that are doing it or the staff that are doing it at the time, I don't know, but the bites themselves weren't they weren't nuggets they weren't chunks um and as again although i didn't show it but the um advertised for the bites is a million miles off they're not obviously not piling out of the top of the <laughs> it's just madness at the top of the box but the, you can't even see them inside the box let's fit i know i'm slating these places but they deserve to be slated they put stupid advertisements out oh look how amazing it is and it isn't look at that look at that Look at the, in two seconds, look at that for a burger. You think, oh my days, that looks nice. And then you get whatever the hell that is. And I'm pretty sure they missed, which is supposed to be a Zinger fillet. Cause that ain't a Zinger fillet. Cause it's got like an orangey kind of look to it. Now, yeah, fair bit of sauce on there. I wouldn't say smothered, but it wasn't lacking. Um, Putting the sauce on top of the hash brown inevitably makes the hash brown soft, so it's not crispy anymore, which is what they um, advertise or, or suggest is the case. Big chunks of little, and also Buffalo Tower Burger, for a little bit of information, go to KFC's website. Um, but look at that piece of lettuce. It's like they've got it out of the bottom of the bag and just, oh, I don't care, throw it on the burger. And again, I know people might comment saying, and please comment, but People might say, well, you can do this and make it at your home. Yeah, I can make anything at home. Anybody can make anything at home. But the point being is you go out to these places that should offer kind of 80%, you know, what they're showing, especially for 13 odd pan in total, 20 quid or just over 20 quid. Um, the burger itself was nice. I'm not slating the burger as in the fillet was nice. The hash brown was nice. The sauce was nice. You can see kind of starting to drip down the side. But that was about it. The bun was pretty good. I'll, I'll give them that. The bun was quite nice. But just the fillet could have been a zinger fillet, I think, for a start. Slightly bigger fillet would have been nicer. Um, a little bit more attention to lettuce, I guess. Again, I'm only nitpicking, but 
you, these prices aren't going down, they're going up. So you should expect a better burger. You would expect it from a restaurant and people say the same thing, oh, it's just a fast food restaurant. Yeah, but these are multi-billion pound companies worldwide. Anyway, enough of that. The burger was good. The sauce was hot. It wasn't as hot as what I thought it was going to be. So they have, I think they've mellowed it out a little bit, maybe just to... Um, sort of be this be okay for most people let's say not too hot um but it was it was pretty good the bites uh, not too good but you'll see in the ratings in in two minutes i i couldn't give it a great deal because it just it was nothing like advertised unfortunately so 6.5 for the burger, 8 for the fries weren't bad, 7 for the buffalo bites. Thanks for watching as always. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and like, and we'll see you on the next one.